it sure looked good on paper. But who's going to help you make sure it looks good on stage? This is the International Desk, located here in the CNN newsroom at the center of CNN. The International News Gathering Desk is designed to coordinate all of the international news for all of the international and national CNN networks. CNN USA, CNN International, CNN Headlines, CNN Spanish, CNN.com. All of those networks require international news coverage, everything in Iraq. Afghanistan, Europe, Africa, Asia, Latin America, all of the news that's happening in those locations is coordinated through this desk. Each one of the networks that requires coverage of one of those stories comes to this desk to request live reporting, packages, video, information, everything they need on all of those stories, they come and ask us. Well, good morning to you, Soledad. The unrelenting insurgent violence is continuing here. We also have a role in deciding what news we cover. We look at all of the news that's happening around the world and decide how we allocate our resources. We have a lot of people around the world, 20 plus bureaus dotted around the world in all of these different locations. Each one of them is giving us guidance on what stories are important in their region, they're calling into us every day. We're, lo we're watching affiliates, ITN in Britain. We're watching uh, feeds coming in from Iraq. We've got a live briefing going on from Baghdad here from the US military. Agencies feeding us video all the time. We're also linked via video to our fellow deskers in Hong Kong and London, who we can speak to all the time. They're covering the news in their regions. And as we communicate with each other through the day, all day, 24 hours a day, we're making those decisions along with producers. What do we want to cover? How do we want to cover it? How much money, how many resources do we want to allocate to each story? International desk, Cindy. The way the desk works is there's a group of managers, hey. supervisors who work each shift and on each shift there are a group of editors. Each one of those editors will take charge of a region, Asia for instance, or Iraq, or the Middle East. And as they go through their shift, whether it's on the overnight, or an evening, or during the day, they will continue that process of speaking to producers at the networks, speaking to our reporters, correspondents, and producers in the field, and looking at the wires, reading on the internet, getting information from wherever we can, to make those decisions about what we're covering and how we're covering it. Six, uh, seven, ten, and at least five, and how many? Hey, Eric Talia, good morning. I'm fine. Listen, I just got news from London Bureau that your guest for 8.30, Robert Jobson, is stuck in well, traffic. Well, you can see already here that just during a normal day, there are stories developing all over the place. It's a buzz. People are talking. We're talking to Baghdad. We're talking to London. We're talking to uh, Jerusalem Bureau. That's just a regular day. On a breaking news story, it's electric. People are shouting, people are running, people are talking to each other, people are screaming at each other. But everybody knows their job, and that's the most important thing in breaking news. It might look crazy, it might look like panic, but it's actually what we do for a living. Everybody knows what they're doing, everybody knows who to talk to, and it works. We have a lot of editors here and supervised editors with different qualifications, experience, language skills. We're like the mini UN um, meeting, basically. So you have Talia is Turkish, I'm Moroccan, grew up in France. You have the Tajikistan, um, Irish, Ethiopia, Indians, Iranians. It's the militant part of the whole CNN, basically. International news is, in many ways, much more complicated because not only is it different countries that we have to master and we have to understand what's going on there, then we have to communicate that news to a domestic U.S. audience that is even one step further removed from international news. And we have to bring the international news to that audience in a way that they will understand, appreciate, and that will enhance their understanding of what's going on and not be confusing. Yeah, the, the excellent he made it. Okay, well. 
joining us this morning from London is journalist and royal watcher Robert Jobs Jobs. And nice to see you, Robert. Long time no see. Let's talk more about this report. It's a miracle. He made it. His, we thought he was never going to make it. It's a, you know, he made it in five minutes after they said that he was not going to make it. So that's what we do here at the International Desk. We're covering all of those stories all the time. Not just the day-to-day, moment-by-moment stuff, but a big breaking news story is our bread and butter. CNN is known for its international coverage. And if this desk is doing its job properly, we'll be first and we'll be best on every international breaking news story. And that's our most important job. We've got to get the moment-by-moment -moment stuff done on all the regular stories, but when breaking news happens somewhere in the world, CNN has to be first and we have to be best, and that's our job.